Hi, welcome all. So, my name is Sachin Thomas and I would like to take you through a topic let's make TIPCO Jasper server to communicate only through SSL. So, generally when we configure Jasper server, by default it's being configured as HTTP. So, but if we want the Jasper server to communicate only through SSL and no HTTP, you can follow this video to configure the same. So, in this video we'll see how to create a key store, how to edit Tomcat configuration file, and how to edit web.xml file inside Jasper server to any of So now we'll just go to the folder of Apache Tomcat and inside on the folder we can see that the server.xml file. So in this server.xml file, uh, we have a place to configure SSL. So if you go, just go down and uh, you can see that this configuration file, configuration steps for SSL is by default commented. So what we'll do is we'll just uncomment this and uh, as you uncomment it will ask for uh, its and by default port 8443 and it will ask for a key store file. So you can put any name here um, but you have to generate a key store file. Uh, so for that we'll now just go to the command prompt and generate a key store file. So for generating a key store file um, you have you can use a key tool command. So for here, I'm just sake of this video, I am um, just have this command ready. So here you can see uh, we have um, key tool, gen key, allies, tomcat, key algorithm, RSA, which is default, and the key store named tomcat.jks. So as I press enter, it will ask for a password. And then it will ask for a first name, last name, and the general details. So I'll just put local host as of now. Name of the organization, if I say Jitpo and city, for example, I'll just choose Sydney, NSW, and AU. So is this correct? Yes. And now it will ask um, again for. Um, password confirmation so it's still generating the key okay so it's asking for a password and we enter the password okay so now you can see in this folder back um, I was inside this folder so here it has generated target or JK as a key store file so that this key store, key store file will just use in here so in target so by default it's referring uh, to this uh, the class path folder as uh, Tomcat uh, 8 underscore 5 so we don't need to provide any path absolute path here but if you are uh, creating this key store file elsewhere in this uh, in, in any other location so you have to provide a full key, uh, key store path so this is just a key store file but if you if, uh, so this is a self-signed one but if you have uh, uh, a key store uh, a certificate which is signed by um, any as a certificate authority so that is CA or Symantec you can just import that into this key store file and use that key store file over here so by and by default we have also give, given the password as change it over here so this so this is the uh, place where we can configure SSL for Tomcat now going further uh, this will just help uh, as both HTTP and in HTTPS but if you want to completely disable HTTP um, here uh, for Jasper server, what you need to do, do, do is if you, you have to go to the web apps folder and uh, inside web INF. So now you can come to the um, web INF folder and inside this web.xml file, if you open this file and search for a keyword SSL, you can see that the SSL disabled is enabled here. Uh, so SSL disabled property is here. Um, which makes um, the Jasper server to communicate both HTTP and HTTPS. So what we'll do is we'll just um, I'll just comment this out, and we'll just uncomment the SSL enabled one. So with this, it will just have only uh, transport through HTTPS and no HTTP. So I'll just save this file and. Uh, Go to the bin folder of Tomcat, and so now we'll just start the Tomcat uh, with this script startup.bat. 
it will just take a few minutes to uh, start the whole web app folder. So I'll just pause the video for a few minutes for it to start. Uh, okay, uh, you can see that it's being started. The server has completely started. And uh, now what we'll do is open a web browser and browse for um, Jasper server page. So while browsing, we'll see that um, it's normal HTTP page. With port 8085. So, what we'll do is it will redirect to 8443. And since it's not a signed certificate, um, it will just say that the connection is not private. And now it has taken to me to the login page of Jasper Server. So, so once I log in, It's all communicating through SSL. So thank you for your time for watching this video.